Chris, how you doing? I'm no, wonderful. How about yourself? It's been a little while. I think last time we talked to you was on a Zoom, so it's it's been maybe a year. I'm Brandon Hoag. I cover UCF Arrivals. Nice to meet you again and everything. Absolutely. But, absolutely. Uh, that yeah, was COVID for sure. You've been going through spring ball and everything. You've got a lot of experience in that secondary, a lot of competition. Just generally, how's it been as you kind of look to close out spring here in a couple of days? Oh, uh, it's been awesome to be honest with you. We got, like you said, we got a lot of guys that's coming back. We've added a few pieces, some high school, some transferring, and we've been challenging them all, and they've been challenging each other. The biggest thing with the guys that are coming back is just some of the install that we're challenging with, and then the new guys, we're sprinkling them in, but we're trying to go old guy with a new guy to help those younger guys and transfers, you know, pick up the system. Coach, Jason Beatty with the Orlando Sentinel. Nice to see you again. Likewise. Um, you mentioned some of those new guys. Kobe Perry is one of those guys. Mm -hmm. What has he provided to this room this spring? Uh, the biggest thing with Kobe, he plays with an edge, and that's something that uh, we think was we thought was needed in that room because we got a lot of guys that work their tails off on and off the field, but not a lot of vocal guys. And Kobe is one that's very vocal, and you're going to feel his presence. And I think he's helped bring some of that out in the other guys as well. How's Devontae Brown just kind of, you know, he's more mature, he's older, he's been playing a couple of years now. I know he's talked about trying to become more of a leader. I know he's not the most vocal guy naturally, but kind of how have you seen him develop in his career? Uh, it, it's night and day, man. But Devontae is a guy that works extremely hard. Him and uh, CT was the two guys last year with BJ, but those guys compete against each other every single day. And it's also been good to see Domeo step up in that group as well. And then Devontae, from a leadership standpoint, there's not a lot of vocal stuff, but you'll see him from time to time just pulling guys to the side. And he gives kind of peek back at them, kind of tap each other, like look at D. Brown over there. So it's been good. And he, I think he's embracing it, being one of the older guys in the room. And because you had, when he came in, you had the Richie Grants and the Aaron Robinsons of the world. And he didn't have to do it. And even in high school, uh, you had the Patrick Sertains, a lot of guys ahead of him. So he's never really had to be that guy. So I think he's adapting pretty well within his personality. Uh, Coach Trace Trelko, Sons of UCF, how would you describe the communication from your group over the course of this spring camp? It's been a lot better than it was last year this time, i tell you that. You know, and that's something that we really, really work hard on because we spend some time in the meeting room just calling guys out, but then we'll take them out and walk through. And then actually getting the guys to do it in live settings is always the challenge. But I think the guys have stepped up to that challenge and doing a really good job. You just mentioned Brandon Adams. What kind of spring has it been for him? I know he's a guy who jumped in in high school, was able to play right away. And I don't think he even played, he was quarterback, I think, in high school. So he wasn't super experienced at DB. Just what kind of development have you seen from him? Uh, it, it's been really good. And, again, with the guys that are uh, the older guys, the CTs and the D Browns, he, he came in and just kind of been under their wing, and he's right there with them every step of the way. And I think Brandon has the opportunity to be a really, really good player for us here at UCF mentioned CT, Corey Thornton. Let's talk about him a little bit. What have you seen from him this spring? CT, he's one of the hardest working guys I've ever been around. And uh, I had, I was blessed when I was a GA to be around <laughs> David Clowney, Stefan Gilmore, and DJ Schwanger. And I thought DJ and Stefan was two of the hardest workers ever. I would put CT up in that group with those guys on and off the field. He works extremely hard. What's it like working with T.U.L. and just kind of learning under him, you know, uh, what's that been like over the last year? It's awesome, man. Me and T. Will's relationship goes back to probably 2011, 2012, talking about when I was GM in South Carolina, and he's from Columbia. And so we kind of clicked in and kind of just stayed in contact over the years and then having the opportunity to go down to Auburn and work with that staff was awesome. And then just being here, he, he's a bright, bright mind, and he's a fun person to be around, I'm sure, as you guys know. So love being around him, love learning under him, and love working with him on a daily basis. What do you hope to accomplish during Saturday's spring game? Number one is come out healthy. That's always number one. But other than that, just seeing guys mainly get, because we're going to be probably a little vanilla, you know, as most people are in the spring game, but just seeing guys get lined up and execute. And then when the players come your way, make the layup. It's something I always tell the guys. And then I want to see guys tackle. That's something that we're really big on here in the secondary. we got to have guys that can tackle. So seeing guys with good body control and making the plays that come to them. A lot of the guys have mentioned Nikai Martinez. I know he's been limited with a hamstring, but they said he was showing some flashes early. Like, what did you like about his game? So, funny story, I recently uh, had a baby girl named Lou, and so I was not here uh, the first two practices that Nikai had. And so since I've been back, he's been kind of sprinkled in here and there, but the main thing for us is trying to protect him so we can get him through these last few practices. But he was out there today running around and did some really good things for us. So definitely looking forward to Nikai being pretty good for us here in the future. I'm excited just about the recruiting element. I know you've been on the road 
Uh, you know, last fall, you're about to go out on the road after spring ball. You said you're in the Big 12. So you know, there's a lot of excitement around the program with Gus. I mean, how excited are you for that element? Um, oh, it's awesome. It's always been out, been good, being out on the road, seeing high school guys practice. And the thing about the defensive back positions, a lot of times they're hard to eval on camera because the – on tape because the camera's getting on them so late at times. But being able to actually go out there and see them move around, that's always a good thing. So definitely looking forward to it. Appreciate you guys. All right, now.